twins are, are cleaning too. Aw. Oh, we're... Mr. Uh, Spider! Uh, Mr. Spider, do you see that? Oh no! No! I'm so sorry that we only escaped with four of our legs. Do you think it's okay for me to go out there? Just really quick, I feel like it's safe. I'll be back. I love you. I saw Mr. Spider. It's the human. They got him in a cup and they took him out. Could I come stay with you then? I'm ready to face the world feeling like a new me. Perhaps you're ready to find love again. Maybe, maybe I am. Mrs. Spider, I swear, I'm gonna get back to you. I'm, I mean you, I mean you no harm. I'm just trying to get back into my house so that I can be reunited with my wife. Oh uh, yeah? This is the Henderson yard. This is my yard! I, I'm, I'm not trying to take over your yard. I, I'm an indoor bug. I don't want anything to do with the outdoors. Oh yeah? What kind of pussy doesn't want to have anything to do with the great outdoors? I mean... The indoor is, is great. On hot days, they've got a machine that blows wind to cool you down. Oh, it's so great. You should really try it sometime. That sounds horrible. I fought for every meal I've ever had. <laughs> ever since I was kicked out of the hive by the queen. You were kicked out by the queen? Yeah. Apparently, she didn't like me killing all the other drones. I mean, that's... That's scary slash impressive. But but look, look, Mr. Mr. B, I, I gotta get in that house and I can't let anybody stand in my way. So if it comes down to it, I only have four legs, but I, I can put up a fight. Oh yeah? Yeah. I'd like to see that. Ah! Not bad. I told you, I have fight in me. I've eaten a lot of tea times with spiders, meaning I ate them for tea time, but I ain't never seen one with the fight like you, kid. Well, I hope, I hope that that shows you that I'm, I'm worthy of, of, of not being fought against anymore and maybe Maybe you can help me, help me get back into the house. How about an offer to join me on my quest to undermine the rest of the hive? <laughs> I, I'd be more than happy to do that. You, you scratch my abdomen, I scratch your abdomen. Wow, I feel something changing in me. I've never, I've always seen spiders as other. Now I see that we all live in the same ecosystem and we need each other. <laughs> yes. I hope it's not too late for me to have some self-actualization. If I'll help you. Good. Uh, I'm gonna need some help. I maybe I could use your military strength to 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 get back into the house, but you've gotta show me the way. Alright, I'll show you the way. Listen, I'm gonna turn on my buzzer. <laughs> no one fucks with me then. Wow. <laughs> All right. Listen. Obey. The gutter leads you to the inside. All you must do is scratch the gutter. Left, right, left, right with each 
one of your four legs. This is discipline. I don't understand. How is this gonna help me to get back in the house, scratch the gutter? Because it's gonna take you days, Wimp! This will teach you patience and discipline. Okay, I can do it. Right. Or right, left, right, left, right, left. You're getting it. Scratch the gutter. You're Four. getting it. You're as good as any bee I've ever seen. Thank you, Mr. B. That means a lot. All right, now chant the famous phrase. Out, then in, repeat it. Out, then in, repeat it. Out, then in, fat, then thin. I release my outdoor skin. Out, then in. Out, then in, fat, fat then, then thin. thin. I release my outdoor skin. Oh, I feel ready. This is where I say Sayonara. Well, I, I, a lot of bugs in that grass to eat, but I'll never forget you, kid. I'll never forget you too, Mr. Mr. B. But if there's one thing, if maybe you could, maybe you could fly me up to the, the brick thing up on top of the roof and drop me in. Well, you are the first and probably the last friend I'll ever have. And Mr. B, one last thing. I, I, I did tell you, you know, you scratch my abdomen, I scratch yours. If you want to get back in with the, with the queen bee, you know, here's my piece of advice. Just get her something nice. Women like nice things. Maybe you can get her like a nice pebble, you know, or like sometimes, the kids drop like little toys in the grass. Maybe you could pick up one of those and give it to her. She'd probably like that. Yeah, think about it. All right, up, up, and away. Hang on tight there, little buddy. This is a narrow corner. I'm afraid of heights. <laughs> Okay, um, right, left, right, left, right. <sighs> oh, Mr. Spider. Mrs. Fly. What a surprise. I, I saw you. I saw you leading Mrs. Spider away. You, you thought I was dead, but I'm alive. I'm alive. A bee helped me, and I climbed down the chimney, and... I'm, I'm back in the house, ready to be reunited with Mrs. Spider. Oh, um, Mr. Spider, um, I have to tell you something. What, what do you have to tell me? And I want you to know that I care very much for you, and I cared very much for Mrs. Spider as well. Oh, I'm your tone is putting apprehension into me. Unfortunately, Mrs. Spider just couldn't go on without you, but I'm here. I'm happy to be your friend. Mrs. Spider didn't make it? No, no, I'm so sorry. Oh, oh, I don't know. Dear Mr. Spider. Mrs. Mrs. Fly, are you? Are you wearing makeup? Oh, oh, you're so sweet to notice, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. Spider. <laughs> well, you said you want to be my friend. Maybe, maybe, maybe spiders and flies can, can be friends after all. I think it's what Mrs. Spider would want. Why don't you come with me, sweetheart? I can console you this way. All right. Oh, it's so weird that you led me to where the sticky traps are. Normally I'm able to power right through these, but with just my four legs, it's, it's, I'm a little, I'm, Mrs. Fly, I'm stuck. 
I'm stuck. Oh, Mr. Spider, no. No, oh, I'll try to help you. Oh, no. Oh, oh. I'm so, oh my goodness. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, dear. Mrs. Fly, I don't think you helped me at all. You didn't even try. What is going on in this house? Mr. Silverfish, it's been so nice meeting with you these last few Sundays. It's really brought my spirits up. Oh, Mrs. Spider, you have nothing to apologize for. You're just grieving over the loss of your husband in the best way possible by moving on. Oh, I'd actually forgotten all about him for a second just then. I was looking so deeply into your antenna. <laughs> Yes, I do keep them quite nice, don't I? Oh, they're very <laughs> nice. So shiny. I've never seen anything like it. Well then, Mrs. Spider, shall we go on our dates? We shall.